really churning the sand. Scanners show a few new artifact sightings. You two up for some rough riding? Sure. I can race with the best of them. Good. Take the vehicle and bring us back some booty. You know the drill. Get to the artifacts first, and they're yours to claim. Wastelander right. Go get them! out here. Keeping them full of hope? It can be daunting. I'd say you've made a good life here. You too must make a life, Jack. Take your destiny into your own hands. Look, sand cannot keep a shape by itself, but add water, and it becomes malleable. Fate can be such if you add the right element. Eco. <laughs> Our minds think alike. My monks say the world is coming to an end, but I am a survivor. I say we live on long after this world dies. Be ready. You are shaping up to be one of my finest warriors, and I'll need you for the trials ahead. I mustn't lose you, like I lost my son. You had a child? Long ago. But much has been sacrificed in this war so that others could live. Anyway, it matters not. We're having serious trouble with marauders lately. I want you to take a vehicle and hunt down their warrior patrols. Go, and make war your own! beginning to think you chickened out. I saw an eco-crystal in this place, and it's yours if you want it. Trouble is, metalheads have been spotted here in mass. 
But we wouldn't want those nasty boys to just move back in here without a welcoming party, would we? Let's go give them a big surprise. Survival of the fittest, baby. I suggest you get with the program and be on the winning side. And which side is that? The one on top of the pile. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a big pile. Yeah! A big pile of shit, I caught this. So now what? Just keep your nose clean and stay sharp. I'll tell you when the action's coming. Cleaver, I need to find some very special precursor artifacts, but I'm running out of time. Wait a tick. I just traded a very rare artifact indeed to a nice band of metalheads. It was an ugly piece of hardware. Looked like a dog's breakfast to me. But those toothers paid handsomely. They seemed nice enough. Good ivories they had, you know, if you dig fangs and claws. I bet if you crank up that dunk, you and the offsider just might be able to catch him. I'll drive! Jack, you get on the gun! Daxter, just get in, sit down, and shut up. into the forest pillars. It seems they've been here for longer than any other known ruins, except for maybe the catacombs. Myth says these pillars were once linked to some type of planetary observation system. Very mysterious. Let's see if those items you found in the wasteland will activate and unlock their secrets. Approach the astral viewer, Time Warrior. Behold the seed of our destruction. Let me see! Is she hot? We precursors built many worlds across the universe. Shaping them with eco into something good. But we were foolish. The Dark Makers were once precursors, but their exposure to Dark Eco changed them. 
They began twisting worlds, conquering life, and dark ages ensued. Now the Dark Ones have found your world, and are coming to claim it for themselves. Well, I could ruin your whole day! I think this one's bigger than both of us. There is but one hope left. You will find a planetary defense system hidden deep at the core of the planet. There is still a chance to save your world. I hope you are more successful than many planets. Multiple targets inbound. You up for some action, Jack? Look who you're talking to. Let's rock and roll, Dax. Nice moves, my boy. You're the best man we've got to lead an expedition into the catacombs. Please, please, let us not be too hasty. Are you sure you want this dark ego freak contaminating the hallowed halls of our glorious precursors? I should lead the expedition myself. We're tired of your scheming, Vigor. I've got the answer you're looking for. My precursor monks have given me the knowledge to turn on the planetary defense grid. If you beg me to do so. Jack's always gotten us through thick and thin. I'm with him. Here, here! You washed up, Vegan! Vega! It's Vega, you idiot! Whatever! Count Vega, I hereby dissolve the city council and strip you of your title, command, and all privileges. Now get out of my sight. What? How dare you! I offered you mercy, but now you will all burn in the precursor fires of creation! I swear it. That was one hell of an attack wave. We can't continue to repel such large assaults forever. That floating war factory has got to be shut down. The problem is, the factory is shielded and has gate codes on every access point. Most old KG door ciphers were kept hidden in the main system at the power room. If you can break into the system, you may be able to unlock the war factory doors to get inside. Onan says the eco grid in the power room could help you. But to open the old power room, you must find the junction box in the sewer. Personally, I think you're crazy to go down there. But, uh, good luck. You guys keep the surprises coming! The power room door is now open, Jack. Ah, remember this place? I sure miss good old Vin. Yeah, he was a good guy. A bit crazy. Hey, who you calling crazy? I can't help it if the world is out to get me. Vin! Wait a minute, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Well, actually, no, it's not. I'm a multi-layered, hyperlinking, digi-memic, bioconstruct, super-clocked, mega-memory construct, baby. Did you understand a word he said? When the city was overrun by metalheads, before they got to me, I dumped my brain into the ego grid. Everything's great now. Those monsters can't get me in here. Or can they? Listen, Ben, I'm happy you're whatever you are. But right now, I need to get into the war factory, but the doors are sealed. We think the code to open the doors is hidden in this system. It is. Really? Positive. Can you get it for us? Negative. Why not? Because if you have half a brain cycle, you'd know that those access codes are guarded by the central system. Ancient, nasty circuits in there. Even we big brains can't nibble around there without getting our butts erased. Just get us close. Oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> it's your death. If you fail, I can always use a companion in here. All of the fun we'll have. Let's hope. Oh, God, let's hope. It doesn't come to that. When I put you into the system, the main security will slam down hard. It'll be up to you to beat the system and get out, or get eco-zapped for good. You check some? Okay, Vin Baby! Jack me in! Wait for it, wait for it. Okay, input! No! Oh 
no. Got the cipher. Great work, Jack. She's got the info beamed here. That cipher key will unlock the war factory doors. We'll get on it right away and get back to you. Listen, Ven, we've got things to do, but we'll keep in touch. We promise. We got a big one this time, Jack. That decoder you found helped us decipher the gate key for the main KG War Factory. We can get inside now, and we need our best people on the raid. Oh, gee! I wonder who that might be. There is a good chance that factory is doing more than just making death bots. I want to know who's behind it all. How are so many death bots being made? Where are they getting the supplies in the eco? Something about this doesn't seem right. Yeah, right into the hornet's nest. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, remind me when to laugh. For a big surprise. The Dark Makers don't play nicely with others. Just ask the Metalheads. I've been given the opportunity to wield a power even the precursors could not control. Don't fret. You won't live to see what I turn this little world into. Maybe a rock, or a floating puddle of slag, or nothing at all. Complete oblivion! So hard to choose. I won't let you do this! Goon and kicked his nuts! 
and bolt. Errol got away, but we shut down his robot factory. That's good, but it is troubling to see what Errol is doing. I fear he may be trying to awaken that terrible dark ship before we can destroy it. Onan says the Precursors and Dark Makers have fought over worlds for as long as time has turned. It would not be the first time a planet was lost to those monsters. Well, it's not gonna be this planet. We've lasted this long. We've just gotta find a way to destroy that thing. The truth lies at the bottom of the catacombs. That's where I need to go. Jack, please help us. Errol is attacking the Monk Temple. He wants the secrets we have kept concerning the Dark Makers. Please hurry. If he learns what he seeks, it could undo this world. Once again, you stand before me, brave one. And once again, your heroism shall be rewarded. I give you a new light power, one which will help you reach new places, places only in your dreams. Errol has learned how to connect with the Dark Maker ship. If he can awaken its terrible cargo, he will unleash horrors beyond our deepest nightmares. Not all is lost. I hid the most important artifact from Errol. I was wrong about you. You have the balance needed to save us all. As rubber-wearing, completely freaky, beyond bizarre, paint-faced, super weird monks go, you're all right. I have now seen the truth, and I am at peace. At least I was granted the gift of seeing the face of my creators. Thank you, little one. Uh, okay. Jack, we need you back at Sparga City. The scope's picking up major movement out over the water. It's not a storm, it's something else. My guess is it's connected to those dark satellites we've seen. You're the best gunner we've got, Jack. This is your chance to repay your life debt. Get back here as soon as you can! possibility. Times are grim, but when I was the leader of Haven City, times seemed grim then too. Take hope. Even the smallest weed finds shelter within the rocks. Wait, you were once the leader of Haven City? I came to the throne during the middle of the Metalhead Wars. Baron Praxis betrayed me and banished me to the Wasteland. The rest you know. Anyway, here is your third and final battle amulet. You are one of us now. That war amulet is a beacon. If ever you need us, use it to call, and we will be there. And from me, a welcoming gift. This rare precursor armor is said to have been worn by Mar himself. I was saving it for my own son. But right now, you should wear it in this difficult time. Thanks. I don't have anything for you. You give us all hope, Jack. That is gift enough. Welcome to the clan.
I just won't quit! It's headed for the city. We gotta defend it. For Deimos. The last charge of the Dark and Light Brigade! Let's do it, partner! To the end. reason to fight on. My life's work, it turns out, was spent searching for a bunch of furballs. Odin says it is a great day for the universe. Jack, you are the greatest of heroes. 
You have turned the tide against the Dark Makers, and together we will win this war. But dude, there are like way more challenges in the future. Ha! <laughs> uh, or was it the past? Yes, yes, I was getting to that. More adventures? Where have I heard that before? We need heroes like you to help us protect the universe, Jack. Then you can call me by my first name, by what my father called me, Mar. Wait, Jack is Mar? The Mar? Come then, Ma. No time like the present. You coming, Dax? Eh, I got all I need right here, baby. But if you need me, and I know you will, eh, you know where to find me. Oh, Daxter, my little hero. We owe you much, Daxter, for all you've done. For your bravery in the face of incredible danger, we shall grant you your deepest desire. You know, I can really use a snazzy pair of pants. Like yours! Wow! Those are sharp! I wish I had a pair just like that! Be careful what you wish for! Don't worry, honey. You get used to it. Oh, and you may want to shave some parts. Trust me on that. Hey! Thanks for everything, partner. You are a great hero, Daxter. This is gonna be good! They think I'm a god! And they're right! Hard hero! <sighs> this is going to be a long trip. Where do you think you're going, little bugger? I've decided I want my own sidekick, and you've been nominated. We're gonna be a great team. Just don't make me angry. Are you ready, Jack? We have something to show you. What? The universe. I couldn't leave you, Dax. With all our adventures ahead, you wouldn't last a second without me. Ah, what a team we are! Yeah, well, the next adventure, I call the shots. Put it there, partner. Ha! Psych! Oh, yeah. Life is good.